Maybe this could be yours someday. Maybe you don't want it now that I threw it on the ground. I seem to be getting my hands on a lot of these solo crypto miners, specifically around Bitcoin for the most part, or SHA-256. I've been putting them on Bitcoin Cash because the chances are a lot higher and hey, at least it's some kind of payday if I hit a solo block. Anyway, I received this from Bitcoin Merch. Where'd it go? This, it's a box. It's a slim package, thank you for noticing. I didn't know what it was, so I opened it to see what it was, and then I realized what it was and remember them saying they're gonna send me one. So that's all I've done is open the box. Let's open this together and look at exactly what comes with this Nerd Miner 2 combo. All right, I'm gonna open my slim package here. Children, avert your eyes. All right, so we've got some, oh, is this the, this is the miner, these, these, they're the miners themselves. Cool, we'll look at that. They sent me $100. Oh my gosh, I need glasses on. Hold please, old man mode, activated. This is a real Venezuelan Bolivar fiat bill. Governments and banks are printing unlimited money. Yeah, we know that. Making fiat currency useless. He sent me a worthless bill. <laughs> cool. Oh, upside down. Look at that. So it's a hundred Venezuelan Bolivares. Oh, a bunch of stickers. I love some stickers. And a coin. The Bitcoin coin is in here. Another one of those USB fans. Oh, and the seven port USB hub. So the kit you buy is seven Nerd Miner 2 USB solo miner combo. But I got eight. Comes in this little bitty case. And it's one of these little USB sticks is a solo mining uh, Bitcoin miner. Look at that little bit of guy. That is fucking tiny. It's got a little four pin plug on the side, probably for programming of some kind. So let's look at a little closer at what these things even are before we try to set them up. And I'm allergic to hard work. So this is what they sent me, the Bitcoin Merch 7X Nerd Miner 2 USB Solo Bitcoin Miner Combo. Like I just showed you, it's these little USB sticks and each one of them has a little mining chip on it. And then also this hub that they sent over that you can power them individually as well. The thing with this, these are each 75 kilo hash on hash rate. So it's super low hash rate, but it's also super low wattage. And this is the full kit. Let's look at, at one of these little thumb drives alone. No complicated setup, so they're only Wi-Fi compatible. It would be nice if the hub had a wired connection in it. Power consumption's five volt, 0.14 amps, and less than one watt of power draw for each of these. So less than seven watts for the whole power strip to be up and running at once. Yes, so if we look at Bitcoin kilohash per second and do 75 kilohash, your chance per day is Ridiculous. Oh my God. That is, let's see, million, billion, 61 trillion. One in 61 trillion. And you can buy just one of these for like 25 bucks. It's a cool gift, I think. Now, what if we went to Bitcoin Cash and did the same calculations? It's still per day, we're looking at 300 billion. Let's plug these in and see how we can get them set up. So first off, the power strip that comes with it is actually just a big USB hub with each of these uh, USB ports having a physical switch on them as well. It actually feels really nice. It's got an aluminum body to it. It's got a barrel uh, connector for power right there. And it's a USB 3 speed. I have a very long extension cable. I have it run to a USB plug on the power strip. I don't know about you, but I'm not gonna plug this into my PC. Just probably a bad idea. Even if it's just power, I don't know. So we're gonna plug this bad boy in and it's not facing you, there we are. All right, so all it says on it is use Wi-Fi for setup. That's all it says. 
I was like, wait a minute, where's my Wi-Fi? I'm looking at a, at a virtual machine. Of course it's not gonna have Wi-Fi set up. We can see that we've got here, Nerd Miner AP. I wanna uncheck connect automatically, that's me. And it's probably going to be the same Wi-Fi SSID for each freaking miner. So you definitely wanna do these one at a time, guys. All right, so we'll connect to it. What is my network security key? Wonderful. All right, let's try to find that. Two hours later. I figured it out. The password is that key isn't correct. Son of a bitch. Later. Let's try this again. The SSID password is mine your coins. I don't want to make this discoverable by other devices within the network. Next, we're going to come over here to, uh, what is it? 192.168.4.1. This is the dashboard for your miner. We'll go in and configure Wi-Fi. And then these are the list of the different Wi-Fi connections that are out there. And this is where you're gonna put your pool information as well. Oh my gosh, that's so much better. So we've got our Wi-Fi's, uh, we're gonna pick our SSID, put in the password, put in your pool URL. Don't put stratum plus TCP colon slash slash, just put the web URL, your pool port, your Bitcoin or Bitcoin cash address, your time zone. This here, track uptime, best diff, total hashes and device flash memory experimental. I prefer not to do that. So, so we're gonna hit save, saving credentials. So I just refreshed the page and it came up and it says save. So, all right, it updated. We've now got activity on this, on the little LCD here. So it's showing uptime, it's showing hash rate, 70 something, kill a hash. Now I can just go through and do this six more times and put each of them on the power strip. I'm gonna go through and set up the rest of these now and, uh, and get this bad boy running up and hashing and we'll come back and take a look at this when, uh, when it's all done. Uh. Well, that was a pain in the ass. Looks kind of cool though, right there. If I move out of the way, should focus, look at that, that's fancy. I went through in each individual one. I kept having issue after issue after issue. So I actually went and plugged it in over here in the power strip, the USB strip that comes with it and just turned off the other USB sticks. Finally was able to get them all set up individually. Eventually, it's not a smooth process. It only works on the 2.4 gigahertz band. It doesn't work on five gigahertz, which is to be expected on these little things. Took me a while, lots of cursing, but it's up and running now. But now I've got a spare here. Should I keep it just in case or maybe something else? Anyway, make sure you're subscribed to the channel to stick around and find out uh, maybe this could be yours someday. Maybe you don't want it now that I threw it on the ground. If you're interested in this Nerd Miner 2 combo or even the the just the Nerd Miner itself because you can buy each of those individually for like 25 bucks, I'll leave a link down below and I got a promo code that'll save you a little bit too if that's something you're interested in. If you made it this far in the video and you learned something today, hit that thumbs up button. It really helps the channel get recommended out to others. This is the kind of video that you like to watch. Consider subscribing for more like it. And of course, thanks for watching.